Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, we have something that you know kind of intrigued me sometimes, but I don't really, really, really review it per se because um, I don't really want to offend anybody's religion, and it just happened that this has something to do with religion in a way. Well, not religion, but like belief or something like that, you know? Uh, yeah. Okay. So today we're doing the, I believe it's pronounced, Hiram and Solomon Revival. Okay. So this was announced uh, in 2022 uh, during one of the trade shows. And I did see it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm half wheel, but at the time, like, it didn't, it didn't intrigue me enough. Or like, you know, it's just like, okay, it's one of those, another cigar. Uh, I, I think the, the, the whole story and, and mystery kind of feel behind the cigar brain is cool, but at the same time, it's like, I'm afraid to approach it. I guess, you know. But anyways, I kind of ran out of things to buy, so I bought one of these. Yeah. So. Uh, let's take a look at the cigar. Basically, the cigar is a 6x52 Toro. And the wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Calero. And the binder is Ecuadorian. The filler is U.S. Broadleaf Seco Dominican FDR2. That sounds like a highway. Uh, and Lejero Dominican FDR2 Corojo. It's kind of very specific, I think. So... But yeah, this particular cigar looks pretty put together. Uh, you know, some of the line that looks like a crack is actually not a crack. So it's just just a very dimensional cigar. Anyways, let's get to smoke it. All right. Hmm. It's kind of the. It's a little bit of floral and sweet. And maybe a little bit barnyard. Yeah, something like that. Get a draw. Oh my god. Very banya. By far one of the most banyani tastes I've gotten. Plus a little bit of floral. Oh my god, that something got to me. Maybe some spice too. Draw is okay, pretty good. So yeah, I have $14 a cigar in the 2010 count box. Let's see what we can get out of this, right? Close the sides. 
Now I'm not gonna go into like the story behind this thing because I don't want to give you the wrong story of what the vision behind this is. Uh, so I, I advise you guys to go check it out yourself because uh, this is one brand that I don't want to comment too much on. And it's not against that. I just don't want to give the wrong information because especially someone, uh, some brand that's using this as a, you know, like I think like like Mason stuff and I just don't want to mess with it. So I just, I, I'll just smoke a cigar and what, what, what you think, you know? Okay. Wow. Very salty. Pepper. Floral. Woodsy. Bonyar. I want to say some fruit, but I can't tell what fruit that is. Just fruity. And charred note. Char note. Actually, pretty okay. Like, I, I, my face might make a weird look, but that's because I'm trying to figure out what note that is, but actually tastes okay. Yeah. It's very salty though. It's tasty. I think that's pretty much it for the initial light up. Cocoa too on the on the nose. Like a dry, dusty cocoa. All right, let me smoke one third and I'll be right back talking about this revival. Okay, first third. I, I had to say, I accidentally gave it a little bit of unfair advantage. It was not intentional. <laughs> so this cigar just happened to pair really well with the two alcohol that I had in front of me. Um, I re had received those two alcohol right here and I did an unboxing video, I guess for you guys, but when, by the time you guys watch this, that video has been weeks ahead. And what happened is they pair really, really well with the cigar. So I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I should. The fruitiness. And the moss both went well. It made it really sweet and nice. So let's 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 talk about this, okay? So the reason that it went really well is because this thing has a really in-depth, strong barnyard that ends with a floral floral fruit note. And it also have this fruity, sweet note so when i take a puff well now it's not even the same anymore uh, <clears throat> i taste barnyard and i took a sip that just enhanced the entire experience with that floral and the sweetness because that drink just made it even more sweet so it was actually really, really, really nice. So I, I, I recognize that as being an unfair advantage. But I'm going to say the first third was pretty good. Had there not been the drink, that strong barnyard might have bothered me just a tad. And... And now the puff is not even the same anymore. It tastes like creamy, powdery, sweet, maybe 
cocoa or something like that with a little bit of floralness at the end. Yeah, it's different now. All right, anyways. So yeah, I enjoyed first there a little bit too much. That now that I don't have any more of those, I'm going to be able to judge it more fairly. But just to say, Japanese whiskey worked really well with this thing. I just want to put it out there. So if you want to smoke the cigar, put a Japanese whiskey in front of you. Whatever price that I set this as at the end, probably add a one couple more dollar onto it just for that enjoyment. Okay? Just want to put it out there. So yeah. Firster, Banya, Floral, uh, 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 and, and some sort of sweetness, like almost fruity sweetness. Um, maybe a little bit char taste too. That's pretty much it. And then um, now we're going to second third. Be right back. All right. So second third. Now it tastes normal now. Everything's fine now. Woodsy barnyard fruitiness ends with a floral note. Once in a while in the retro hair, you can get a cocoa. But that's pretty much it. Now, can this be like $16 or $14? How much was it? Um, can't even find it right now. But I would say right now it's about $14, $15 range. Enjoyable. Not too bad. And I, I think it pairs with any, very well with any drink. I went to Soda right now. It still pairs very well. So that's the problem. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a very good cigar uh, in terms of the experiment and the transition too. Like it went from like Barney to now it's sweet, fruity, uh, and, 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 and you know, not as Barney. I, I enjoy that transition. Let's just say that I enjoyed it. What I didn't like is this little rip on this part. I don't even know how that happened, but like it just does. But like based on the look of it, you knew that's gonna happen somehow, just when. I just don't know how that came about. I, I think that's a little bit off on that part. I just hope that it doesn't unravel too much. But yeah, I'm on last there already, so I'm not too worried about it. And then part of the reason why uh is $14, $15, this band this is like badass. I think this is very badass band. So I like the design. I like the font that was being used. I like the name Revival. I like that it's not a lot of element on here, but it feels very full. Very nice element. I, like, I love the color. The color is like purple blue ish. Like I thought it was black at first, but then this is more close to purple blue than anything. So yeah, very nice. 14 to $15. Now, if um, if it doesn't get worse, that's probably where it's got to stay. So we'll see uh, where that goes. Try to read this thing. Grand. Is that Lodge? Lodge of North Carolina AP and... A M maybe that's what it says. Yeah, this is 2022. That's pretty much it. Nothing in the back. So we'll be right back. Laster. Okay, so we're done. Now I want to say that Laster it kinda got worse. And what I mean by that is it left just a floral note and there's a sharp note. That's just not that pleasant like it's trying to work its way back to like a cocoa sweet but it never really got there it's just more floral more floral it has a little bit of that's like weird charred taste and plus it's got a giant tunnel so yeah I wouldn't say that it's not a good cigar though. It just you know takes one point off. So I'm gonna set this cigar price at twelve to thirteen dollars. Twelve to thirteen dollars, and that's where I'm more comfortable buying because I literally I think that's the enjoyment part is the robusto part. 
not really a total, right? So it take a couple dollars off. Um, basically that, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I still think it's worth it for people to try it. Uh, it's not too much a different one two dollars. It's not too much different. It's I'm I'm giving you a price as a base point, right? So you know your local price might be different too. It might be cheaper. It might be more expensive. Just and 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 a, 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 a very top level look at this cigar okay so yeah still not bad uh i think it's just the last third didn't deliver as good strength roughly just medium oh what does that taste it's kind of weird yeah roughly medium and, and that last third i would say you know as soon as you said last third you, you can feel more puff you you know you're not losing much by stop there so yeah, and I'll recommend the cigar. Not bad. And if you collect bands, it'll be a pretty good one to get. All right. So that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, if you like early access to some of our content, make sure to join our membership. Uh, the basic membership will already give you that um that early access so uh if you want to support the channel make sure to do that too we also have podcasts on sundays make sure to listen to those sometimes we have good interest uh, uh topic that might interest you okay so i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys